One hour later. Wash through, it will flow through. Very accurate. I think you're going to find it in a number of weeks. The FDA also gave emergency authorization for this is Donald Trump and his lies. Chlor chloroquine. And I say it. What do you have to lose? I'll Donald Trump it. and his what lies. What do you have to lose? Take it. It will be wonderful. It'll be this so is what beautiful. Trump's saying about it. It'll be. Y'all believe Trump Donald Trump has. And it works. I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body, you can, which you can do either through the skin or. Uh, in some other way. No, I really believe Donald Trump. Sounds interesting. Right, and then I see the disinfectant. Disinfectant. <laughs> in a minute. Wow. In a minute. And is there wow. a way we can do something like that? Uh, yes, I'm touching back on this thing with Donald Trump and his lies. Or almost a cleaning, because you see it gets on the lungs. Crazy. How stupid does he think you are? I don't know. <laughs> don't fall for the <laughs> people. Everything I said there was true. Everything. I just put his words on, on TV. Right. Just played them back for you. That's it. Caitlin Collins is our White House correspondent. And our resident fact checker is Daniel Dale. Do you really think Donald Trump? Trump? Good evening to both of you. Just telling the one. truth. So... This president Do you really believe that? And he's saying that that Biden is refuting scientific evidence about the coronavirus and doesn't want to do mail-in ballots. He thinks this uh, doing mail-in ballots is is going to cause him the election. <clears throat> I don't know what to say about your president. I mean, you saw it all, the lies you just said. And the president is wiping their ballots to mail in. Do mail in ballots. So, we'll see. I mean, it's crazy how y'all sitting there believing what he's saying. The lies that he has. I mean, it's uh, you just seen it for yourself. How can mail him? How can Biden? And he's talking bad about Joe Biden again, and now Kamala Harris. Uh, I mean, it's, I mean, I understand politics. You have to talk a certain way, speak a certain way, to try to win the election. Um, but for him, his way is, is degrading folks and putting folks down and people of color and women you know and he thinks that mail-in ballots should be voter fraud and uh i don't get it i don't understand it you know <coughs> and my knowledge of all the presidents and i don't know a lot about all the presidents and i know a lot of them did make mistakes and fucked up you know um didn't do always do good things for the country. Um, certain some were given a chance to really trying to do right uh, for the country. Some just didn't do right for the country, and uh, but that's why now we as a people we need to band together and do what's right. We need to take back what's ours, and uh, it's uh, it's sad that this man Donald Trump is. Stop it. And then there's a false versus theories about wow. Senator Kamala Harris. Anthony Skidder. Now he's blocking funding for the U.S. Postal Service to not do mail-in ballots. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, did he just really from my man ignore his question? Just upload an image, place your order, and go to the door. He just really pointed my man. Oh, like that. And this isn't just an upload. 
<laughs> wow. Not just <laughs> crazy. He's <laughs> just running my man and ignore his question. Ain't that about nothing? Oh my God. That's crazy. Just running my man off. Oh man. Uh, oh man, that's funny. <laughs> that's wild. That's wild and out right there. Oh, that's an OG move right there. That's an OG gangster move. But that shows to show you how <laughs> Donald Trump is. I mean, <laughs> come on now. <laughs> come on. You know, Mary French, you about your lies, and you just don't want to, you don't want to hear it. <laughs> oh, man, that just, that's just wild. That's just wild. Donald Trump went right here. And uh, I don't know. It's an interesting year. Um, you know, this coronavirus. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> It's throwing a monkey wrench into a lot of different things. This coronavirus has really messed it up for 2020. You know, from making people go out of business, millions and millions of layoffs, and uh, a president that don't give a fuck about what he say. Um, and uh, I just, I'm just truly amazed and shocked by his ignorance. His, his, uh, his, uh, his lack of I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's his, his lack of I don't care. You know, and uh, that's crazy. That's crazy. And, uh, you know, uh, for someone to be like that, and uh, it's, it's, I don't know what to say, man. I'm, I'm at a loss for words. Um, it's one to be arrogant and cocky and, and he and, and just ignore certain things, but to be blatant, then didn't say you didn't say that, and you, you are videotaped, and then when they confront you about this, you want to be the bully on the block again. You know, you're the bully. You know, you want to brush somebody off. And, uh, it's a shame, man. Tragic. It's it's crazy. It's crazy. I don't know how this man <coughs> even continues to do business with people, and because uh, he's stealing from other people and making his own money, using using their money, to just you know, not paying them back, and. Uh, I don't know. It's uh, I hope and pray that Donald Trump doesn't win this election. And um, uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this is gonna play out. And uh, it's uh, coming soon. Y'all get y'all register to vote. Y'all vote vote Donald Trump out. Uh, the, the Democrats may not have the people you want, but hey. This is better than this is gonna be better than Donald Trump. Yeah, question Kamala Harris a citizenship. What? All at one time. For the health care crisis. But he's also paralyzed the campaign. You know, so the campaign is in disarray. They're waiting on him on strategy. And he's going back to his old playbook that he thinks worked for him last time. And so that's what it is. And he's doubling and tripling down on the racism on Twitter because he's trying to signal to people that uh, 
low-income housing guys is code for African Americans. Okay, and that's obviously what he's trying to say to people. It's offensive to me. I grew up in an area like that, and as I pointed out many times, those kids. So she wasn't born here either. <laughs> Where was she born? Went on to become multi She's not a citizen either. Ain't that crazy? Because everybody else. And so but that's his playbook. There are, are poor white right? people and there aren't low income white people. In it. There are, of course there are poor white people, but I'm telling you, that's the code signal. Yeah. Remember what my no, I'm just, I'm just out. he talks in code. Hey, you know, of, just course, of course, I mean, I, of course, many of my buddies. I, I, I was in a middle income area, in a middle class house, growing up with the very same people that he's going after and denouncing. And by the way, a lot of those people voted so damn for him. That, that was my point. <coughs> a lot of those people voted yeah, for him. And, and, and I, I said, isn't that insulting if you are one of the quote unquote uh, yeah. uh, unheard uh, <laughs> Americans or the people who've lost their job or the people who can't afford the suburbs with the big lawns? Isn't that insulting to you that he's telling you that you should not be able to live in one of those neighborhoods and be able to have upward mobility? And he's going to try to keep you down with that. That should be insulting to them. That should be a big red flag, no? Yeah, it's a big yeah, red flag. Or, I, look, I I got the Trump decoder ring. That's why he keeps tr tweeting at me. He knows I got the ring on. And I'm turning the ring, and I'm telling you, the guy's melted down. Yeah. The poor guy is having a full blown meltdown in the White House. He can barely put the sentences together now. Crazy. Uh, April, you. Uh, you Stood by yeah, that's right. You can barely. I know you like to challenge me and Anthony and everybody. Else. You can barely so even talk and get things I mean, straight now. Listen, you, you know, it's so confusing. By and uh, women or by a strong black woman. What is it all about? Why do you say that? Um, Here we go. This ceremony, you know, Anthony is now uh, in line with me, understanding what's going on. Anthony and I have had these conversations before. This president thinks that um, we are back in the 1800s where black people, not just women, are supposed to mind their place. I have watched him when other black journalists ask him questions. He's like, who are you? But don't let it be a black woman. A black woman who knows her place, meaning that we have a seat at the table too. We own the table. This president is very intimidated. He is so used to people stepping in line. Anthony, am I correct? The loyalty issue. And when he sees a black woman who has a mind of her own, can critically think about things that he does that may be wrong and he wants to make it seem like it's okay, he has a problem with that. Um, let's start with Susan Rice. Let's start with Maxine Waters. Let's start with Frederica Coxwell and Frederica Wilson. Let's start with April Ryan. Let's yeah, he does have a problem with that. Let's just go down the line. Um, this president does not like to be challenged. Black women think for themselves, we've gone through too much to be able to say, okay, it's fine to not call it out. And he does not like for people to call it out. And I'm gonna call it out today. Today, this president looks like he is in decline, not just mentally, yeah. but physically. Everything and just real bad decline. equipped to be calling <clears throat> anyone names, to be talking about anyone's lineage, especially since his mother was born in Scotland. So the question is now too, on that issue of birtherism. Um, is he qualified? Well, uh, you know, were you born in Scotland? The, the question, yeah, he, he is qualified because he was born here, but if, imagine if someone asked that of Joe Biden or Kamala Harris and they said, well, you know, I don't know, I just, I heard about it, so maybe I have to look into it. I don't think that that would, would be there. And you forgot. Crazy. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah what well, makes him qualified to do anything or talk about um, anything like that? So it's, 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 it's really, uh, um, just unbelievable. Anthony. Crazy, crazy, this crazy. This man is just out loud wild out there like that. And, uh, the Postal Service. Because he, he doesn't want to expand mail-in voting, not even trying to hide the corruption. Again, but that's sort of a Russian thing, right? They do everything out in the open, and you're so alarmed by it that you think it can't be happening. So um, I, I get that part of his playbook, too. You know, Listen, when Michael's book comes out, Michael Cohen, there, just remind everybody, there's documentary evidence in that book. The White House is denying what's in the book. But he is going to supply documentary evidence. And in that playbook is exactly what he's doing to the post office. And that's the way the guy operates. We have to show up and vote for me if you're still one of my supporters. We're still in this because I've got all kinds of chicanery I'm going to deploy here uh, to keep myself in the game. I mean, the Rasmussen poll in Wisconsin, I mean, they're probably going to pull out of Wisconsin as well. It's 52-43.
They're out of Michigan. They're likely to be out of Wisconsin. The guys are man is an idiot. He's crazy. We got to stop it. Put him out of here. What is he going to do with the air? Subscribe to my channel. Holler back.